but that's exactly what you're getting when you listen to this episode here with me today because you are taking the red pill. You are listening to what is possible for you. And I even made an Instagram post today and I was like, once you see it, you can't unsee it. So just understand that once you see the possibility for you to create your dream life and live a life of freedom, of travel, abundance, happiness, joy, you can't really see it any other way. Welcome back to another episode of Break Out of the Matrix, Boom, the podcast. Today, I am recording in a studio, a podcast recording studio. This is something that has been on my vision board for so long, and I'm so happy that I finally found a studio that aesthetically fits my needs. It's close by. This is something I also wanted to do when I was living in New York City, but I'm super happy that I found this place. So I'll definitely share more about it on my Instagram stories. So if you guys aren't following me there yet make sure you check that out in the show notes to get my Instagram handle. And it's also really aesthetically pleasing here. Like I'm just so much more creative because I have a space here. And as some of you may know, like I said, if you've been following me on Instagram, because that's where I do more of like my day-to-day updates, I've actually been working with a color psychologist to really lock in my brand palette to make sure that we are using colors that really represent my brand and my mission and my vision. So lots of greens, lots of orange, neutrals, beige, it's very like calming. Um, so we've been working on that. Um, we even put like a pop of magenta, which I wasn't super keen on at first, but then the more that I saw it, I was like, this is the color for me. We found the perfect color code and that's exactly, you know, kind of how it played out. So in this episode today, we are really going to be talking about what the matrix is and how you can escape it in 2023. When I was writing out some notes for this podcast episode, it's so interesting because when I made my first podcast episode ever, I think we're close to like 50 now around the the time of this recording. Um, It was just so interesting because when I first made that episode explaining the matrix, I had one perception of it. And I think this is the beauty of having a personal brand, a podcast, an online business. When you center it around yourself and your mission, you really get the opportunity to expand and grow your vision over time. If I still had my same vision when I posted this podcast for the first time, July of 2022, coming up on almost one year, then that wouldn't be good because I really believe that if you're not growing, you're dying. And it may sound a little bit harsh, but if you really think about it, you're constantly growing and expanding. So for example, like even one of my clients was like, Julia, you know, I joined your program, Conscious Creator Academy, which is my signature group program. And she was like, you know, I came in with one vision. Now I changed my mind. Is that okay? Like I'm feeling guilty about it. But the truth is that if you're not growing, you're still in the matrix. You're still doing things over and over and over again the same way. So the true expansion happens when you move out of your comfort zone. So this episode is really an evolution of what that first episode was. That's still my most played episode. So you guys definitely have to go check it out. Maybe compare the two. And we're really going to dive deep kind of like in a whole new way because I watched the movie, The Matrix. Okay. So when I first had this podcast episode or this podcast name, I didn't even watch that movie yet. And I kept seeing things coming up about watching that movie. And people were like, is that why you named your podcast this? And I was like, no, but you know what? Let me check it out. And I love that movie. Now, if you guys haven't watched it, you absolutely need to go see it. So in that movie, Neo, the main character, is presented with either a red pill or a blue pill. So the red pill shows him the matrix. And if he decides to take the red pill, he can't unsee it. So he sees the way the world is living, the way that you're being conditioned to think, live, be, Or he can take the blue pill and not remember anything. He can just go back to living in the matrix. Of course, he picks the red pill. This is what the whole movie is about. Don't worry, it's not too much of a spoiler. But that's exactly what you're getting when you listen to this episode here with me today. 
because you are taking the red pill. You are listening to what is possible for you. And I even made an Instagram post today and I was like, once you see it, you can't unsee it. So just understand that once you see the possibility for you to create your dream life and live a life of freedom, of travel, abundance, happiness, joy, you can't really see it any other way. So what is the matrix? The matrix is a typical lifestyle that most people live. Go to college, get into debt, Then you graduate college and then you get a job making $50,000 a year if you're lucky. And then you have all this debt accumulated and then you're working this job to save for a house to just accumulate more debt. So you're constantly in this cycle of debt and this negative energetic weight as well. And maybe you also get into some credit card debt because maybe you didn't really get the best financial literacy in college, which you paid all this money, $200,000, $200,000 to go to college to get an education that left you in debt. And then you're constantly in this rat race, just trying to pay it back. Then you only get two weeks of vacation every single year. And that has to be approved by your boss. You can't just say, hey, I'm going to Hawaii next week or I'm going to Bali. You have to always be asking someone else's permission. And then you're saving everything up that you have beyond that for your retirement so that when you're 65 plus, you can go travel the world. Well, what you want to travel and do in your 20s and your 30s is going to be much different than your capacity at 60, 70, 80 years old. So why not break out of the matrix and start living this life of freedom right now. And I think back to when I first understood these concepts and I heard about these things from course creators or online content creators. And I was like, but that could never be possible. I remember telling someone when I first got my corporate job, well, I'll at least be here for five or 10 years before I can ever leave and do my own thing. But then I saw people who were 16, 17, 18 years old, not like just graduating college, making millions of dollars a year. And it just blew my mind because I was like, if someone with just a high school degree, some people even dropped out of high school, right? We see these videos on Instagram and YouTube. I'm like, well, if they can do it, why can't I do it? I have a track record of high achievement, right? I've been successful in so many areas of my life. Why can't I be successful in this? So once I had that awareness is when things really started to shift for me. And I remember just getting this super triggering feeling inside of me, anxiously scrolling on Instagram while I was working my corporate job, where I had a letter that I was $25,000 in debt post-graduation from college. And I just remember vividly saying, why is everyone living a life of freedom? And I can't figure out how to do this for myself. And I got to a point in my life where I was so frustrated with constantly being triggered by other people's success. And at first it was envy. It was like, well, that's not fair. Why do I have to work this job? And then one day it all clicked for me. Seeing these videos, seeing these people were breadcrumbs for what was possible for me. One of my favorite spiritual teachers, Gabby Bernstein, explains this a lot as well, all about how when you see something on your social media feed with your friends and your family or someone having success, that's the universe sending you a sign of what's possible for you. So maybe you've been following me on Instagram for a while. Maybe this is the first time you're listening to something of my content. Just know that everything that I'm sharing with you is the possibility for what could be your future. Because I really believe that you're energetically aligned to this episode, to this video, because you are an energetic match for it. You would not be presented this video, this audio, this opportunity to hear this episode if it wasn't meant for you in this very moment. So, what to do from here, right? You have the awareness, you know what's possible. Maybe you're also that person that's like, I'm a little envious, but how can I transmute that envy to what's possible for me? I want you to start consuming more of this content, but like the real good educational content. Don't just be consuming lifestyle content that's gonna just trigger you. True educational content, let that be an audiobook, let that be a podcast, an informational YouTube video, maybe a strong and powerful newsletter. 
There's a lot of fluff content out there. So I want you to just pick a handful of creators that are actually teaching you something that you can apply to your life. Now, this is twofold, right? You have to listen to the podcast. You have to listen to the audiobook, and then you have to take action because nothing is going to come in your life without you working for it. And I don't care what the online gurus say. You have to take action. Nothing is falling from the sky. You have to intentionally create the life that you want. And it's always twofold. Step one is you have to believe that it's already yours. If you're thinking that something is out of reach or you're saying, well, Julia has this or this creator has this and they're so lucky, you're telling the universe, you're sending a sign to say, I'm not ready for that yet because you're saying that you're not energetically aligned to it. So I want you to first believe in what's possible for you. Remember what I said about the breadcrumbs? So you first have to adopt this unwavering belief that no matter what, your dreams are going to become a reality. They're going to manifest in one way or another, but you have to believe that for yourself. And it's like you're putting in an order with the universe. You're saying, this is the way that it has to be and I am open and ready to receive it. I am open and ready to receive the plans that it's going to take to get me there, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Ask, believe, receive. When I use a coach just on manifestation and my courses were about that, that's my three-step process. Ask, believe, receive. And the way that you receive is through and taking inspired actions. So now that you understand what's possible, right? That you don't have to work a job. You can travel the world. You can build an online business, right? You have this awareness. That's the point that you're currently at in this episode. Now it's time to start thinking about, okay, well, what are the steps I need to take to actually get me there? And I've been in that limbo before where it's like, I'm tired of the fluffy content. I'm tired of the mindset work. Give me the structure. Give me the roadmap. Give me the way. So this next part of the episode is going to be giving you the exact steps to build a six-figure business in 2023 and beyond. Because we are living in one of the most transformative times in history. I was just making a script for a Instagram reel that I want to create. Like your parents, your grandparents were not able to do this. Your grandparents or your parents couldn't just say, hey, I have a podcast. I'm going to go promote my online course. That wasn't even a thing. So there is so much opportunity for you to grow and expand and do and achieve the things that you want to achieve because of the digital age that we're currently living in. And this is exactly how you're going to do it. So first, you have to understand the old way. The old way of doing things was, let me just put up a webinar, put a link in my bio, and people are going to buy my course on passive income. Now, that worked pretty well in 2020 and 2021, and the people you see doing that really successfully now, it's because they've been doing that for three or four or five years. If you're just coming into the space or you're looking to grow in 2023 in a new way, you need to develop a system that's actually going to support your energy because people are tired of hearing, buy my course. People are tired of hearing, join my free webinar. People want true information that will actually help them be successful. Because even though it's awesome that anyone can do this and quit their job and travel the world and make 10K a month plus, what people are tired of is everyone doing the same thing. So how can you be different but still use a model that's proven to work? And that's where I've created the new way, which is the Fempreneur Sales System. And it's where you take your organic social media content and you turn that into a community that really supports a mission and a vision and is here to impact and grow together. And then from there, you convert those people that already know, like, and trust you into paying clients. Because let me tell you a little bit of a secret. Free content is information. Opt-in content is information plus structure. Paid content is information plus structure plus implementation. So the same way I just invested in a personal trainer is because 
although I can go YouTube the workouts that will give me the body that I want, I can't actually have that YouTube creator come to the gym with me and hold me accountable. So by investing, I am investing in the implementation. That's why after you listen to this podcast, you may opt into my free course that I give you in the show notes. And then you say, well, I want a little bit of structure. And then maybe you want to hop on a call with me or my team and learn more about our paid programs. Why? If I just gave you all the information, because you're looking for community, my community of currently over 70 entrepreneurs I have in my paid programs. I've helped over 400 women worldwide because I gave accountability and support. This is actually why in the beginning of 2023, I shifted all of my programs from just being passive income products to being true accountability and implementation programs. Because the problem is you're not investing in my program because I'm giving you videos. You're investing because you want to be able to talk to me. You want my eyes on your business ideas. You want a community to network. We just had some women um, in the Conscious Creator Academy network and actually do a podcast collab. One of my students, Marie, just launched her jewelry brand and a few of our CCA women bought from her. So you want that community. You can't find that because think about it. All the women over 70, now closer to 80 women invested in this program are all there because they want to support and up-level with other female entrepreneurs surrounding them. Now, the way that you make this work and implement the Fempreneur sales system into your own online business is by taking your organic content to the next level. There's only two ways to grow your business, right? If we're we're talking about the digital space, you can either do free traffic or paid traffic. Free traffic is organic content creation, right? I'm making this podcast episode. I make YouTube videos. I make Instagram videos. That's organic content. Or paid media is paying for ads. But that becomes a pay to play, meaning the more that you pay for ads and you capture that attention, you're actually just spending more and more money to make more money in your business. When you can leverage media, You can build a digital online presence. That's when you really capture the attention through being yourself. And that can forever change and evolve. The same way I just posted a video last week and currently it's at half a million views. I'm sure that video is going to reach close to a million, if not exceed that. Now I have that piece of content working for me while I sleep, while I make this episode. So we're constantly generating leads clients, followers, community members. There's people who have been following me for three plus years and never paid me a dollar. And then there are people who sign up for my free course or they sign up for my free masterclass or they start following me on Instagram. Boom. They're a paying client that same day that they first discover me. So you can't control the customer journey. And if you haven't yet listened to the episode with my mentor, George Bryant, we talk a lot about this as well. But what you can do is you can keep showing up. So if you want to build an online business in 2023, there are only four things that you need. The first thing is organic content. This fempreneur sales system will not work if you do not understand or learn how to leverage organic social media content because the pay to play will burn out and it'll cost a lot of money over time. The second thing is building relationships. I take so much time every single day to connect with my community, connect with my followers, answer my comment section, really go above and beyond to connect with people. I learned this from Gary V back in 2016. Remember the $1.80 method, right? So that's number two. Number three is sales. A business is only a business if it makes sales. And number four is focusing everything that you have on fulfillment. At the end of the day, if you don't have a good product, your business will not last. You have to focus everything on your product. So for me, 
Those are the four buckets I work on every single day. And now I've hired team members to help take over some of those other buckets. But now my position is to train them and help them. So it's a team effort. So I can focus more on serving my clients, being the queen bee of the beehive. Because if the queen bee goes down, the entire beehive goes down. So every single day, I have to take care of me. I have to support my clients. And I have to really focus those two ends of the machines, right? The organic content creation, which is going to generate the lead flow. And then the fulfillment, which is going to keep people happy, keep people coming back. So it's really those two main buckets that I'm focusing on day in and day out. We're currently working with training our team members and growing our team to really help with relationship building and sales. So that's a later on conversation. But the number one thing that you need to remember if you are trying to escape the matrix and build a successful online business in 2023 is that you just have to get started. Take action today. After you watch this video, you listen to this episode, click the link in the show notes, opt in for the free course. It is gonna give you so much value. It's gonna send you to my free community, the Conscious Creator Club. We have over 600 people inside of that community. We're constantly adding new free courses, new free trainings, because this is my mantra. If I can't help you with the free stuff, I don't want you to pay me even a dollar. So my truest and highest intention is that you get so much value in my free content and that you see how this content, this information, these ideas are working for you, that the next best step is for you to really look for that support that community, that implementation. So that's really how my business works. I want to help you for free until you get to a point where you're like, I trust Julia. I know that this shit works. I've tried this in my free content, in my free efforts, right? And now I'm ready for the next level. I'm ready to work intimately one-to-one with Julia because that's what my clients get. You get to talk to me. There's nothing I hate more than when like these course creators are like, you can do it entirely yourself and anytime, no matter where you live in the world. No, you're signing up for a coach. There's nothing passive about coaching, right? There's nothing passive about hiring a personal trainer. It's the same way with hiring an online coach. So thank you so much for listening to this episode. I absolutely loved sharing all about this. If you loved it, make sure you leave us a review on Apple or Spotify. Make sure you opt into the free course. It is so good and I'm continuously growing it, continuously adding more resources. So check that out in the show notes and I will see you for the next episode.